cult leader who claims to be Jesus reincarnated has been arrested in Russia, in Siberia. Russian authorities mounted a special operation to arrest a man who claims to be the reincarnation of Jesus and has run a cult based in the depths of Siberia for the past three decades. Russia's investigative committee said it would charge him with organizing an illegal religious organization, alleging that the cult extorted money from followers and subjected them to emotional abuse. Torup, who had lost his job as a traffic officer in 1989, claimed that he experienced an awakening as the Soviet regime began to collapse. In 1991, he founded a movement now known as the Church of the Last Testament, and he wrote his own addendum to the Bible called the Last Testament. Um, several thousand followers live in a series of remote hamlets in the uh, Krasno Yarsik region in Siberia. So I actually watched a little mini documentary about this cult. It's fascinating. Um, so, like I said, this guy used to be a like a traffic cop, and then one day after he uh, was fired, he had this awakening where he realized that he was Jesus reincarnated. And um, he had all of these ideas about how to make the world a better place. And he, yeah, like I said, there, there, he has, um, well, when I watched the documentary, I believe it's about eight years old. Um, he had like 5,000 followers that lived in these communes in the mountains of Siberia. And it actually looked very beautiful. Like their setup, their, their communes were beautiful. <laughs> um, but it's, He's very reclusive, very strange, and they um, practice a lot of stuff that I think is, upon even first glance, destructive. Um, they believe in a lot of strict gender roles. So I was watching it, and one woman was telling the interviewer that when a woman takes on a position of leadership, she is going to get a woman's disease. Um, because a woman taking on a position of leadership or um, not following her man creates disharmony, and disharmony will be punished by God. Um, in, in their little hamlets, in their rooms, in their houses, they have photos of him, like, high on the wall, you know, so he's looking above everything, like, everywhere. Um, they celebrate a high holy day that celebrates when he first had this realization. And um, they're trying to create a world where negative characters don't exist. Um, what? Yeah. So women and men are trained in masculine and feminine roles very strictly. So um, to make a men to make a man a man, you have to teach him construction, basically. Um, people are valued um, primarily on what they contribute to the commune. It's supposed to be, you know, a society without capital. Um, but uh, yeah, just on YouTube, look up like Jesus reincarnated Russian cult. It's a little 30 minute documentary by Vice and there are other ones too. And it's fascinating. Like they're all dressed in white. People do pilgrimages to see him. Um, so, so why why has he been arrested now after all these years? Um, why now? That's a good question. Oh, they also call him Viserion. That's what I forgot to say. His 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 leader name, his religious name is Viserion, and so they're like Viserionites. Um. Oh shoot! Wait, just give me a second. Any idea why he was arrested? On what charges? I mean, is pretending to be Jesus illegal in Re in Russia? A uh, illegal, illegal religious organization alleging the cult extorted money from followers. Uh, wait, 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 you no, know no, wait, 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 wait. What uh, is? Wouldn't that ban every like organizer? Like, wouldn't that be? I mean, what's the standard here? Because if the Catholic Church comes and says, like, here, <laughs> give us money, and then you get like go to heaven or if the muslims say like do zakat and you go to heaven like wouldn't that like wouldn't every religion would then have to come and prove that the money will 
benefit the people in some way, and if they can't prove it, like I don't understand what the standard here. But anyway, Zhivko, you go. So I've got a couple things to say. I find it very interesting. He's got, like, he was a traffic cop, but he had, like, a normal life, and then he had a conversion, very similar to, like, another famous crazy Russian mystic, Rasputin, who had a normal life, and then he had this conversion, and the whole long beard, and the whole cult of followers who were kind of nutty, and the mystics. I mean, there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff going on there, but I think that this guy, um, the Tomar, what was his name? I can't remember. Um, well, his real name is, like, Torop. Torop, that's it. Um, Tomar, that's, like, another Eastern European name, but anyways, I feel like this guy was actually prescient in knowing what was going to be um, sort of the cultural zeitgeist as the Soviet Union was collapsing and the people were going to be looking for something and a lot of it was going to be this old sort of orthodox, you know, Catholicism-ish with a Russian spin and then if you add the whole Rasputin idea and his cultural significance to a degree and the rise of religion since the Soviets, uh, breakdown of the Soviet Union and how people are finding like, oh, we weren't allowed to be religious then and now this is, you know, also a big theme within Russia. Uh, religiosity. I think it's almost as if this guy was sort of like, ah, well, this is going to be a good business to get into. And I think that he's right. And the whole strict gender roles, I don't see that very different in a lot of ways than, I mean, of course, this is an all Russian society, but even under the Soviets. So, yes, the women could hold jobs that they might not have held in a lot of other countries, doctors and, you know, uh, nuclear physicists, but they came home and they still did most of the work at home. So within the family and stuff, there often tended to be very strict gender division. Now, again, I'm generalizing, but that seemed to be the the sense of it. So I feel like uh, he's selling sort of um, a fantasy of the past that could have been better uh, post-Soviet, and it's almost as if he kind of had a very... Uh, he was smart, you know, knew, you know, played his, the stock market, so to speak, well. Because it seems to me that this is exactly sort of right. what's going on in lots of other places in Russia. It's just not necessarily a cult guy. Right. It's Jesus. So, Mort, Mort, yeah. Mort is saying it's probably a lot harder to control those old religions. New ones are easier to shut down. Yeah, so that's a good point. Uh, and yeah, Marco is saying like, yeah, in, in Russia is not uh, the Catholic Church is the, Ortho yeah, uh, uh, the Orthodox uh, Christian Orthodox. Russian yeah, yeah, we, I, yeah, Russian yeah, but Orthodox. we're just yeah, we're just using it as an example as organized religion. That's what. We're, uh, but yes, yeah. your question. I was doing more research into why this happened now. Mm -hmm. It's not clear why this is happening now. He's been going on for like three decades. Um, right. There was one article that alluded to business disputes with other local businesses. There was an allusion hmm. to that. It's as if the activities of this group were perhaps interfering with their businesses in some way. The whole entire picture of why it happened now is not clear. And it's not clear what will happen to his thousands of followers. Um, but the picture that this paints sounds very dramatic. Like, I want a movie about this. I want a movie mm. about this guy's life. I want a movie about the cult. Because um, just the documentary footage I've seen is fascinating. But then this arrest is, like, this is cinematic. The, the There were helicopters. It was stormed by armed guards. Like, wow. Yeah, I want to see this visualized. <laughs> there may not be any reason necessarily for it now, except for it just took this long to plan it and execute it. Because I've often noticed that sometimes in situations like this in dictatorial governments, the person's been on their radar for a long time, and it doesn't have to have any sort of precipitous event. It's just like, okay, now we've, we've got the time and the money and the, guy, the manpower, whatever we've got it, we can go do it now. 
Or the evidence. The, or, yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe the evidence as well, or the fabricated evidence. I, I don't we're, know. Yeah, we're guess. By the way, guys, this is we're, this is just us guessing. Yeah, by the way, none of know, this. We don't know. We don't know. If it, here. We but, don't know if um, it's true. I, I haven't seen the video where they typical Russian dachas, the like the the little painted houses. I'm just curious. Kind of. Yeah, it was like very. Yeah, the typical. Was very yeah, cute. yeah. The domed. Like a lot of the houses were domed and stuff. It looked like a little vill like a little cartoony village like, in in the mountains in by a lake. It was beautiful. That's and what that I mean. I think he's selling like an old fairy tale version of, with the painted. The dark and they're all the walking around houses. in white, like braided hair. And they're walking around. I want to go. I want to go and document do a document like do a sh like a YouTube uh, vlog on it or something like that. <laughs> oh. Not now. It's probably so cold. It's starting to get so cold up there. Uh, yeah. But and yeah, I don't know. We don't know what's going to happen with their uh, with the followers and when his trial is supposed to begin. They probably. Hey, actually, this is going to be great for them. This is like the mart because they need like a kind mm -hmm. of martyr. Like victimization is going to fuel their religion a lot more. So there's we'll nothing that will help fuel an ideology more than a persecution complex. Yes. Extremely, yeah. and it is an extremely eternally useful tool so this is going to probably fuel their religion mm -hmm. a little yes, more in their favor this is why you don't use these tactics to fight religion right anyways well if he was doing crimes yeah right no that's, yeah right that's how you No, no, but it, but not. yeah yeah but if you were only if, uh, yeah obvious if yeah the crimes will make justifies it but um but yeah, if if it was only because for religion, this is not the way. Like China's method. Jim is saying Armin's travel vlog that already has a name. It's called Ideas on Box. There's a channel dedicated to it, but it didn't pick up because I didn't get enough support. You could check out Ideas on Box. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on it. More stuff is gonna come on the Ideas on Box. I go around the world, talk about religion to people. So I, I have some videos that is going to be released more on that channel. So you guys can go subscribe to Ideas on Bucks. It's pretty good. Yeah, there's uh, still content backed up in the yeah. vault. Yes, yes. Slowly, once I get more time, I'm going to release them. Thank Turn you for, for Chad Trolls. He's saying uh, Putin is like Judge Dredd, quote, I am the law. <laughs> right, yes. Actually, uh, yeah, I do get that feeling. Um, Russia is themselves not... Uh, super good about religious persecution like they i mean so i will i jehovah's witnesses is 100 percent a destructive what cult the hell? And go after um jehovah's witnesses and persecute them and it only fuels the jehovah's witness ideology okay katie's saying armin is saying more videos will come on ideas but on bugs for ages now I had two, one video released two months ago and one other video released last month. I'm doing like one release a month. Like, what do you want me to do? Maybe go sub, maybe become a Patreon and ideas of bugs. So I get more free to, I could dedicate more resources to it. Right. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, go guys, check out the ideas on bugs YouTube channel. Yeah. Right. We need more editors. Um, yeah, we need more editors. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, shows, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You, we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this i like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 